Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing four hors d'oeuvres that will be a delight to any party. We're getting ready to move into the holiday season and I think that these will complement any drinks that you're going to have. I think your guests are truly going to love it. And while you're preparing large meals for family and friends, they can nibble on this. So let's get started. Here we have some wraps. Okay, and these are just the mission wraps and I only had two left I prefer to use the tomato ones but I don't have the tomato ones or the regular ones so I could just show you what I'm trying to show you with these so we're gonna take one of the wraps okay and this one is going to be bacon lettuce and tomatoes and what we're going to do is take a little bit of mayo and we're gonna spread it on the wrap Okay, now I've already, for the sake of time, I've already cut up my vegetables, so I don't need to do that. I just need to spread my mayo and put it together, okay? Now, I don't wanna use quite that much. Okay, now, you'll spread it as close to the end as you can, leaving just about a finger uh, line before you get all the way to the edge. And the reason for that is because you don't want everything to be squishing out all over every place. Now, where you would roll your bread up or your wrap up, you would go up to an inch from where you would roll your wrap up. So, we're gonna put our condiments down on it. Now, this is Oscar Mayer real bacon. This is real bacon. Don't get the bacon uh, bits because it'll taste totally different. Get the real bacon. So, we're gonna sprinkle that on our wrap. Okay, sprinkle just a little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to add some tomatoes, which I've already chopped this up for the sake of time. And you know that tomatoes carry a large content of water, so that's why we put down, I want to get that little piece of bacon, that's why we put the mayo down first. Now, I'm going to use some onions on mine. These are just garden onions, but you don't have to use that because that's just a personal preference. And this is iceberg lettuce. So, I'm going to put my lettuce down. Now, rolling away from me, I'm going to start to roll my wrap. Okay. I'm going to roll it up. Okay. There you have it. That wrap is ready. Now I'm going to cut the wrap for you, but I'm going to cut it after I make the second wrap. So I'm going to sit it over here on the side, and I'm going to make one more. Now this one, I'm going to do, put our mail down again. Do it basically the same way we did the first. Okay, move this over to the side. Get our condiments. This time we're going to do a turkey wrap. Okay, now, first we're going to put down our baby spinach. We have some baby spinach here, so we're going to put that down. It's already been washed for us. Next to that, we have some turkey. But this turkey is very thinly sliced. See, it's almost just before shredding the turkey. So we're going to lay a roll of that down. Next to that, we're going to put some tomatoes. And I'm thinking about colors because I'm going green, white, red. I'm thinking about my colors. Okay, right next to that, we're going to put down some Swiss cheese. Now, for this one, I have some thinly sliced cucumbers. And they're very thinly sliced because I like that crunch. And here I have some fire roasted red peppers. And we're just going to put a line of that down. Okay, now we're going to bring it all together and then 
we're going to roll this one as well. Okay, that one's done as well. Now, we're going to cut it. And I'm going to start with this one. And I'm just cutting it on the diagonal. Bring the other one back in. See? There's your wrap. Okay. This is your first wrap. Okay. And now we're going to cut the one that we did with the bacon, lettuce, and tomatoes. Actually, it's a club wrap. So we're going to cut that one. Oops. There you go. And you should keep your little ends down or keep them at least so they'll stay tucked. Now, there's two and I have two more that I want to show you real quick. The next wrap that we're going to do, let me clean up my workspace real quick. Okay. Here I have two dill pickles. And as you can see, they're the sliced um, dill pickles that I have. And I think I'm using Vlasser. These are just spears. You can use any kind that you want, but this is the one that I'm using. Now, for this one, I have two slices of ham here. And this is just regular store-bought ham. Okay, and it's been pre-sliced. But again, you can use anything that you want, but you have to have this thickness in your ham. Now, this is not shredded. This is a little bit thicker than the last one that we used. Now, on this one, I'm going to use some Philadelphia cream cheese. So, I'm going to put, spread some Philadelphia cream cheese down on it. that spread it on so I'm going to take my pickle all I have is just the cream cheese pickle and the ham and this is good trust me I'm gonna roll it and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other I'm gonna roll this as well cut it and I'm going to take my toothpick and I'm going to go through it. Place that back on my plate and I'm going to do the same with the other. And the only thing I did was just rolled it with a toothpick, okay? And I'm going to put that back on my plate. Now, I'm going to cut the last one. But I have to get, this one was a little bit better taken. The reason B is because I cut it, I did it first. So if you could, will allow us just to sit in the refrigerator for a couple of minutes. But I want to do it for the sake of time. I want to show it to you now. Okay, so we need a couple of toothpicks to put in that. And like I said, these are just easy appetizers that you can have sitting around for your guests. Okay. So there we have two more. Now, trying to make my plate look right. Okay, now, the next thing that I'm going to do trying to put all of my stuff out of the way. I have 
some softened cream cheese here. And this was the same cream cheese that I just used off of in order to make the ham wraps. But what I'm going to do, I have some more cream cheese over there. But I'm going to take a little bit of it to make out uh, 8 ounces of cream cheese. Well, we'll just use this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soften this cream cheese. Now normally, you can just soften it with your spatula. Okay, now when you get it softened, you're going to add to that one half teaspoon of garlic salt. Okay? You're going to mix that up. Okay, now to that we're going to add your favorite brand of salsa. Okay, here it is. Thick and chunky salsa is what I'm using. So we're going to add this. And this is by Carlita. Now, you have to serve these with some Tostitos chips. And the best kind for anything that's like this would be your lime chips. So you don't want to use your mixer because you really don't want to flatten all of your vegetables. I'm getting a fork here. Okay. And you can really just eyeball this depending on how much cream cheese you have. Okay. Now, here I have a dish. And I have a bowl for it. Okay, so I'm going to add this to my bowl. Okay, now we've had, we have everything in the bowl, and um, you can serve this salsa just like it is. Let me just clean up this just a little bit, okay? You can serve this salsa just like it is, but you know what would be really, really nice to take any kind of cheese that you have. It doesn't matter what kind that you have. Take it, if it's shredded, and give it just a little quick, and I'm using a fork. I'm just mixing it in with my fork. Now, you don't have to do that, but this makes it more original. This makes it more my recipe. So, add just a little bit more cheese into my serving dish. And I'm going to use lime chips. This is the best kind of use, this, use with this. Lime, because you got that hint of lime that works like the lemon, so it helps to deal the dip up a little bit. So we're just going to spread these all around. So when they take a bite into it, they're getting that hint of lime as well. Okay. Now. So there we have our dips, our dip, and our chips. And we have our wraps. And we had four when it started out, but you know what happened. Someone came in and stole one. <laughs> so now we have three, and that's just how fast they'll disappear when you make them as well. So this is what we have for you today. We have turkey wraps, the club wrap. We have some ham wrapped with the pickles. And, of course, we have the salsa dip with the lime chips. And as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for YouTube. Bye.